I have made a Hadron Collider within Minecraft, and sure, it's very weird, very much inaccurate, and very much not to scale. At the same time, I think it's just a tiny bit interesting, and a tiny bit insane, and all at the same time, very Minecraft or redstone -y. We're using items instead of subatomic particles, and we're using redstone circuits in place of real-life physics. But in any case, I think before we begin, it's about time for a little background, shall we? Well, located around the France-Switzerland border and 16.6 miles in diameter, the Large Hadron Collider of CERN is kind of a circular racetrack, you can imagine, that uses supercooled supermagnets to accelerate subatomic particles at supersonic speeds for science, carefully smashing them together, carefully recording everything with complex instruments, and that, my friends, is all the background you need before we hop in to making it using redstone and Minecraft blocks. If you end up enjoying, consider subscribing, but let's dive into things. Alrighty, ladies and gents, so one of the most prominent features you've probably already noticed is this giant and absurdly complex mass of orange circuitry. And this orange circuitry right here isn't actually doing anything particularly profound, but it is actually quite accurate to the real Hadron Collider at CERN. And basically, the Large Hadron Collider has eight individual sections within its enormous circular circumference. And so basically, this octagonal shape here isn't just my in inability to build a circle in Minecraft, it is actually realistic because each of those individual eight segments can be controlled individually in terms of power and speed, or in my case, just extending them up and down. What I mean by that is by accessing this lectern over here, we can use some of the red coders and functionary systems back there in order to independently control any of the eight different sections inside of our build. For example, now I've selected Southwest, that is South and over there is West, and we can see that the Southwest area there is toggled off. If I wanted, say, the North area to be toggled back on, I can go over here and hit this button here, and the North area will soon pop up. As you can see, I have absolutely no idea if the words I'm saying make any sense, but hey, it's actually roughly accurate depending on who you ask. Now, moving on to this green circuit here, this is the actual favorite part of my entire creation. This is, of course, our actual accelerator. It is made up of four kind of uh, sand pusher mechanism. Not sure if you've ever heard of them, but basically by using some kind of weird collision mechanic having to do with sand, we can actually launch entities an absurd distance, kind of like teleportation. And the reason why I use them is because they are actually the ones that are kind of moving the particle around in a giant circle. While other people might just have used a circular water stream, no, 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 here on the Minecraft Emporium channel, we use glitches and sand pushers to teleport items around in a square circular shape. What I mean by teleport is actually quite simple, because by adding, say, a diamond onto this processing pad here, by extending this lever from our control area over here, by hitting this button, you can see that the diamond will actually teleport and then hop inside of some water streams and will actually begin to move its way all the way around to the different sides. Again, here it goes, and now it's over there, and now it's over there, now it's over there. I hope you can get a glimpse at it, but it's actually teleporting and revolving at absurd breakneck speeds around our particle accelerator. Personally, I find this absolutely insane that I can actually have an item or a subatomic particle literally being accelerated around in a rough circular shape. Moving on to the final finishing touches, we of course have an on-off magnet here, not really on-off, but rather the polarity north and south from a simple series of block swappers. A pretty minor detail, but uh, something to kind of round off the edges, because of course the particles are being accelerated by magnets, not by magical sand pushing forces somehow present in real life. And for our finest, uh, finishing touches, as I finally can get some words out of my mouth, the uh, super magnets are actually cooled by a super super, super cold fluid of liquid helium. And so by the uh, by pressing this wooden button here, words are very difficult, a large amount of helium will be sprayed out of this tank here. Let's see how many, 16 exactly. That is of course controlled by a small observer clock beneath the floor. We have a bit of ice for decoration. And all in all, my friends, that is my attempt to recreate the Hadron Collider in Minecraft. If you do end up enjoying, uh, I would truly appreciate it if you could consider subscribing for more redstone videos that are certainly quite peculiar. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing and take care.